It has been over a year since I uploaded my so far most successful video on masturbation. Up until today, it has been watched 1.2 million times. Thanks to your comments, I learned that even if we live in the 21st century, and despite the fact that we are surrounded by sex through the media 24-7, there are still many questions about masturbation. Time for a new video on the topic. My name is Stefan Buntrock and I'm a board certified urologist and sexologist. So let's start with a very popular topic. Masturbation makes you lose your hair. True or false? Definitely false. Male balding is inherited. It's a genetic thing. If a man has testosterone receptors at his hair follicles, testosterone will connect to that receptor and shorten the life cycle of the hair. By the time you turn 30 or even earlier, the hair follicle has used all of his life cycles already and balding is the effect. There is no connection whatsoever to masturbation. If you want to know more about male pattern hair loss, check out this video. Many comments were about effects of masturbation on overall strength. Does masturbation weaken the body? True or false? False. Semen does not drain energy from your body. This also applies to athletic activities and competition. Not so long ago, I made a video about it. Check it out. There is only one exception where masturbation or sex leaves men in a state of exhaustion and this is an extremely rare syndrome by the name of POIS. That's post-orgasmic illness syndrome. This syndrome is so rare that there are only a couple of cases reported in the literature. Out of a thousand urologists, you may find one who has ever heard about it, if you are lucky. So don't assume that you are affected because, as I said, it is a disease that rarely occurs. Some of you also commented that masturbation is a cause for erectile dysfunction. Definitely false. On the contrary, every erection of the penis maintains its function. Erectile dysfunction may be the result from a lack of sufficient erections. And by the way, masturbation does not damage your genitals, unless maybe you engage in techniques that put the penis into danger. If you want to know what these are, watch this video. Another question I get quite frequently is whether a masturbation is bad for overall health, if performed daily. Simple answer, no. There are even some scientific studies regarding the protective effect of masturbation with regards to prostate cancer. Masturbation may become a problem if there is interference with social life or work life because of it. For example, if you feel the urge to masturbate at work or if you don't meet with your friends because you have to masturbate instead. There were some comments which I would like to summarize because they all relate to health issues connected to masturbation. So masturbation does not make you go blind or cause insanity. Which brings me to the next topic which is, is masturbation normal? The answer is yes, it is a part of normal healthy development. It is also normal to masturbate in relationships. That one is a hard nut to crack because many people feel guilty when doing it. They think this is cheating on the partner. For many, it is hard to accept that human sexuality or human nature, so to speak, can differ quite a bit from cultural, societal or religious norms, which brings us to one very common type of comment. Masturbation is a sin. Quite simply, from a medical and sexological point of view, masturbation is an integral part of normal human behavior. However, if you are a religious person with a conservative upbringing, believe in the concept of sin, then don't do it because you will burn in hell. For all the others, enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.